Hey YouTube, this is Virginia, and um, I'm going to title this video a reality check. I would say for the past month I've been going through a reality check. Um, I, and I really want to dedicate this video to all of those that are thinking about having the gastric bypass. Uh, first let me start out, I do not regret um, this journey at all in any way, shape, or form. I'm, I'm so glad I did it. And um, I believe in a previous video I said it puts you on an even playing field with those that are uh, able to lose weight, you know, within a reasonable amount of effort. But the reality check that I'm talking about is I had no idea that after having the weight loss surgery that I was going to have to put forth this much effort. And that's what I want to talk about today. Before weight loss surgery, and if I didn't have this um, hypoparathyroidism issue, and the only comorbidities that I have or had were the normal, you know, diabetes, hypertension, uh, high cholesterol, you know, so forth and so on. Um, and this is a big and, so I don't want a bunch of people screaming at me. If you have under a hundred pounds to lose you need to face the fact that and this is where the light bulb is going to go off you are going to be doing the exact and I cannot stress this enough the exact same kinds of things that you would do or would have to do if you hadn't had the surgery at all. So if you think for one second that having the surgery is going to be this magic pill that you're going to be able to lose all this weight, you better think again because when you take that magic pill it's going to say, okay, now that you've taken me, you need to put forth an equal if not more amount of effort to get the weight off. If anyone has been watching my videos you will see how hard I exercise. I've been walking uh, trying to walk 10,000 steps a day which equals five miles. Before the surgery did I honestly put forth that effort when I was dieting? No. I did not. Um, watching every single thing that went into my mouth and, and charting it the way I do now, did I honestly put forth that type of effort before the surgery when I was dieting? No, I did not. I had absolutely no idea how difficult it was going to be to lose this weight after surgery. I am fighting for every single pound. And if you watch other videos really close, the ones that have only 40, 50, 60 pounds left to lose, 30 pounds left to lose, they're fighting for it. So if you're going to go into this surgery thinking it's just going to mount right off of you, you better think again. The more weight you have to lose, the quicker you're going to lose. But sooner or later, you're going to hit that brick wall where you're down to 30 or 40 pounds. And I'm telling you, you're going to wake up and you're going to go, you know what? I did not put forth this type of effort when I was trying to diet before. Because we all know that we yo-yo diet. We all know we did Jenny Craig and, and Nutrisystems and Weight Watchers and Adkins and this and that. And... The problem with that is we didn't keep 
keep it going. We didn't follow through. We didn't finish to the to the goal line, and then we didn't maintain. Because had we done all that, we may have been in a whole different frame of mind today. I'm not saying we would have um, not gone through the surgery, because I know I would have. But I, what I'm saying is, don't go into this surgery thinking you're not going to have put forth effort because you are going to have to work your butt off. So I would suggest all those pre-op people, you need to pretend right now that you've already had the surgery and you're already going to be walking. I know quite a few pre-ops that have just done beautifully and they're already in the game. They're already you know, doing 10,000 steps, they're already hitting the gym, they're already doing this, they're already doing that, they're already getting in the frame of mind that this is their way of life for the rest of their life. That the only thing the surgery is going to do is put you on an even playing field and allow you to stay there. Um, what really prompted this video today is another realization hit me while I'm doing this high protein diet. Um, I didn't want to do the high protein diet. I didn't want to have to watch, um, you know, my. I, I didn't want to do any of that. To be perfectly honest with you, I just didn't want to do it. I wanted to eat a normal, healthy, well balanced diet. And that did not include watching my carbohydrates. Yeah, within reason, like, within reason not putting a piece of cake in my mouth, you know, that kind of watching my carbs. Uh, I didn't want to have to do the low fat diet, the low carb diet, the low this diet, the, you know, I didn't want to diet anymore. And I thought with this surgery that I was going to be able to just eat smaller portions, um, you know, normal portions, what a normal serving is, and and get up and, you know, have my, you know, whatever it is I wanted in the morning. I'm not talking about having a piece of candy and this and that. I'm talking about a well-balanced, healthy diet. And my doctor has been after me for a whole month to do the low-carb thing, and I kept thinking in my head, I don't want to do the low-carb thing. That's not what I had the surgery for. You know, I, I don't want to do that. Well, what if you're insulin resistant, Virginia? What if you aren't going to lose? What if you, you know, are one of those people that don't lose weight with, you know, a high amount of carbs? Well, that just doesn't make sense to me because calories in, calories out, right? I, you know, what is that all about? I just don't understand the math of it. I don't understand the human body of it. Um, and, you know, I, I really want to stress what I'm saying here, and I'm already running out of time, so if you don't want to watch the second part of this, don't. If you do, I'll be right back.